Hi, this is Ray Curlick of Wadler Purchase Humble and Curlick. I'm here in our Fulcher offices today, and I want to talk a little bit about what we call in Texas the probate process. The probate process is a legal uh, document and a legal procedure uh, that's actually filed in either a probate court or in a county court at law. Uh, right here, where we are today in Fort Bend County, these procedures are handled in the county courts at law of Fort Bend County. In some of the smaller counties around us, the probate procedures are handled in county court. While in Harris County, uh, there are special probate courts that handle nothing but probate matters. So, what is a probate matter? Well, probate matter can include lots of things. It can include uh, a will and the admission of a will uh, into the record, records uh, of the county, which is called probating the will. It can also include a guardianship, and that's a situation in which uh, a guardian is designated for someone who has lost some of their capacity. And then finally, it can include uh, determinations of heirship. Heirship means who are the rightful heirs uh, of a person who is deceased. Uh, there are some other collateral issues that can also be involved, but those are the big three. So, again, how can we help in that process? We have experience in uh, all of the surrounding counties as well as Fort Bend County. And what we can do is kind of help you when you've got a situation with a loved one where you need to figure out what to do with their estate or where they might need a guardianship. These are things that we can evaluate and discuss with you. Uh, as far as probating a will, basically that's a process that involves finding the original will, so make sure we've got that finding the person who's been named as the executor or administrator of the estate of the deceased person. That person then takes the original will, takes it down to the county clerk's office, and offers it to confirm that in fact it is the original and the real authorized will of a deceased person. At that point, there's a hearing, uh, and that hearing is with a judge, and the judge will confirm and determine that in fact that this is a will that the will has complied with all the legal requirements in Texas of the probate or estates code. Uh, and basically that uh, everything's, uh, all of the I's have been dotted and the T's have been crossed. At that point, the judge will then issue what are called letters testamentary. Letters testamentary are essentially a power of attorney for you to act on behalf of the deceased person. And that allows you to access to their uh, legal records, their financial records, their financial accounts, and even their real estate. And it allows you to distribute uh, their property in accordance with the will that you have offered for probate. In a similar but much more expensive process, when folks don't have a will, we do what's called an administration, which is uh, included also with a, an application to determine heirship. And so even in situations where, for example, um, this person only had two children. Well, everybody knows that. Um, their husband was deceased many years ago. Uh, Mom only had the two kids. It's not enough. It's not enough for everyone to know that. In fact, what we have to have happen is a judge or a court of competent jurisdiction has to determine that, in fact, these are the two folks and the only two folks who have the right to that estate. It's an expensive process because it's not only first determining the airship, uh, that process includes uh, typically uh, the appointment of an ad litem attorney. That ad litem attorney is different than your attorney. That attorney is basically designated and appointed to make sure that there aren't other heirs out there who have been ignored or missing. Um, once the judge has a hearing on that determination and certain names and percentages uh, of interest will be included in the final order. Then there's a second process whereby the judge determines who's the best person to act as the administrator of this estate. The person who's the administrator will have to post a bond uh, and will also have to follow certain guidelines that require uh, approval from the court before selling or disposing of any assets of the estate. And then we'll have to provide a final accounting at the conclusion of the process before they're released from any personal legal liability themselves. And that's when the bond will be released. So this is a complicated procedure. It's one we have a lot of familiarity with and can walk you through. But the good news is we can also help you avoid that process by 
basically asking you to join us uh, in helping us provide you and prepare for you an estate planning package, which will avoid that issue. The other issue that we'll avoid with an estate planning package is the final part of the probate court to the estate's code, uh, and that is guardianship. So guardianship is essentially a situation in which a person is designated the guardian for someone who lacks capacity in some way. Again, a very complicated process. Again, an ad litem attorney will have to be appointed and separately paid. Uh, and again, we've got an ongoing annual set of reporting guidelines that must be followed um, throughout the rest of the life of the person that you're handling, uh, what we call the ward, the person who is uh, being cared for. And so to avoid that, again, with a proper estate planning, and then again, even basic estate planning package that we can provide for you, will basically allow you to avoid the necessity for this guardianship and the expense and ongoing uh, issues associated with it. That's it. If it's something that uh, has come upon you and you're worried about, please contact us, set up an appointment today to allow us to discuss with you what your options are and how we can help you get through this difficult time in your life. Thank you.